So I'm here at Claire Johnson's house. We just had a lovely lunch. Her kitten Willow was hanging out with us. Which if you ever get the chance to play flute in Claire's beautiful home, it is such a lovely experience. Yeah, the wood, the floors are hard wood and mm -hmm. I've got an angled seat ceiling and you don't have to spend all your time on stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's very flattering in here, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I love playing in your living room. I'm older than everyone. <laughs> so this this coming summer you're turning 90, right? 90. 90. Yeah. Right. And you still teach how many lessons each week? Oh, I teach between 20 and 30 hours a week. I'm pretty excited to talk to you about flute players and their tongues, which sounds like a strange subject, but it's such an important one, right? It is right, and we all have a tongue. Yes, we all do have a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good thing, so we can talk, yes. and we can play the flute, and we can sound beautiful. And I have a great picture of a tongue, and I think Ooh, everybody nice. ought to be very aware of why the tongue is such a... So are we looking at uh, the Booty, inside? Booty, oh, this one right here. Got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we don't often think about our tongues going all the way back and how, just how big they are. And down. And when you think of it, that's really what our throat is. It's full of tongue. <laughs> yes. It honestly is. Yeah. It's very fibrous, and it gets in the way when we play the flute, and it gets in the way when we talk. And it's, I think, the major prob one of the major problems in playing the flute. Yeah, so many flute players struggle because they don't realize that they're pulling their tongue back and right. blocking their right. throats. However, they can see. Go to a mirror. I have one on top of my table, and I have one straight ahead. Drop from here, but actually allow your, uh, allow your mouth to drop, allow it to open. And then look at what your tongue is doing. And without closing the jaw, bring the tongue up. And then bring it down. Do you mind if I kind of zoom in on your tongue there? Oh, that's a good exercise. Without moving the jaw. And then if you want to, if you want to get really silly, mm -hmm. go in front of a mirror and do the tongue stretches. Yes. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I do those with my students and we end up giggling because we both right. look so funny doing them. And, and, have, uh, and do it for a class sometime yes. and, and take picture of a <laughs> high school band flute section with their tongues hanging out. It's yes. a lot of fun. Tongue stretches are good. Uh, they're good the same way flutter tonguing is good because often we're bunched up back here mm -hmm. and we don't know it. And the tongue stretches I will demonstrate. So the first thing you do is try to touch your nose with your tongue. Always stretching from the back. Then tongue down. Uh huh. And uh, always stretch. It's, it's easy to feel the back of the tongue stretching for me when I stretch down to my chin. That's a good one. Okay, then you put the front of your tongue or the tip of your tongue behind your upper teeth and push the middle through. Then you put the front of your tongue behind your bottom teeth and push the, um, the top through. Okay, and then this is the one that I like. And I got this from Tom Hanks. Well, I was watching a, a late night show and Tom Hanks appeared and he did nothing but this. He acknowledged the, the host and then walked around doing this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Uh, so you're holding your tongue the whole time you're saying I'm the alphabet. That. Yeah. I thought, well, Tom, uh, Tom Hanks is a great actor, and he probably learned to do this in drama school, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about accents and taking control of his tongue. So um, I started to use it in my flute playing, in my flute teaching, and it made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, not only tongue awareness, but it seemed to relax the tongue, 
bring it forward, and anyway, it works. When you're dropping here, straight down like an elevator, it will be open here. And I think that uh, having a very relaxed jaw and a huge space in your mouth is essential to tonguing.